What's up, everybody? I am Michelle PD. Hello. I am one of the creators of Salty Sailor Presets. I wanted to record this quick video on how to use the Salty AI preset pack. What we did was we took the original Salty preset pack, I converted the masks uh, into presets. So there's no longer any use of using this button and manually selecting things. It's automatically going to do it all right by clicking these buttons over here. First thing you want to do with any photo is select a preset. We're going to put salty one on it. We're just going to bump up the exposure. We'll just warm it up a little bit, get our base going. And there we go. We're going to work off of this. So once you selected your preset, you want to go down to section two over here, the salty AI mask presets. Background dark and details, just hovering over it is going to show you what it'll do. So I didn't even click it, but it'll like show you what it'll do without you actually clicking it. So it won't be in your history, right? So we're going to darken out the background. All that did was I'm going to show you. So let's go up to the little circle. Darken details. It already darkened the background. All where this red is is where the background has been darkened. You don't need to specifically select anything anymore. It's just a one click and you're done. So let's go back. And we're going to put on, let's just put on a salty... AI mask sky cool and I clicked it so this slider right here is an intensity slider so you can adjust the intensity just by here so if you want the sky to be like extra cool extra dark you just run the slider to the right so it's 200 percent so we'll just we'll just keep it at 30 um after you choose the sky, you want to go down, you want to enhance your subjects. You want to click their eyes. I want to make their eyes a little bit more brighter, so I just run the slider to the right. We're going to smooth their skin out a little bit. Um, somewhere around wherever it looks good for you. If you want it to be super smooth, you can push it all the way up to 200. If you want it to be just a little bit, you can set it up however you want it on this slider right here. So we'll just leave it there. And then their teeth, only hers, but I wanna brighten those up. So we'll just keep it at 168. That's how you use the salty preset pack. So now I'm going to right click the, the photo, edit in Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys how the finisher presets work. So by doing this, um, let's just hit J on the keyboard and let's just remove this thing. So this is our raw file. Okay. We're going to X out of this right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring the photo back over here to Lightroom as a TIFF file. So here is my raw. See how everything's set? And then this one is the TIFF file. What that does is it takes everything that you pre-applied to it in your raw, by taking it over to Photoshop, you're clearing it out and it's becoming basically an already edited photo that we created these finishers for so you can put on basically like the cherry on the top. I am a fan of Salted 2. Um, so we're gonna click Salted 2. And the reason that this is kind of like italicized is because it has color in it. And anytime that you edit a file that is not a raw file anymore, it can't, be color graded correctly. So that's just telling you that that has color attached to it. Nothing to worry about, just leave it. 
And then you can apply either a cool tone, earthy tone, or warm. So we'll click earthy, and it's a little too earthy for me. So we're just going to lower it just enough. Uh, earthy has a lot of oranges, yellows, and pinks in it, but it also really enhances your photos when it's used correctly um, as a finisher, and then you can adjust it with the slider here. So that is how you use the Salty AI preset pack. Very different, um, same settings. All of this stuff is the exact same as the Salty preset pack. We just converted the masks into presets so they can be compatible with Adobe programs like Lightroom and Camera Raw. So thank you guys. Um, hope you understand how this preset pack works and I'll see you later.